Back to Haberfield. Now he unleashes a big time flick in the space. Holzmeyer racing towards the end zone. Will he get to it? Yes, he will. Brett Holzmeyer heating up for the Atlanta Hustle. What a beautiful throw from Liam Haverfield. We didn't really get to see him unleash anything like that. We heard he could throw with the best of them. In the Another cut and Goldstein working together. Hammer over the defense. So that, Perfect. That, that was clinical stuff because Nethercut was looking to the right cone of the end zone and trying to draw the attention of the defense, suck in anyone who was watching his eyes, and he didn't let anyone know he was thinking about Kai Marshall. Now a dainty bird stack with a cut from Jack Williams out of the front of it. Williams, that inside break flick, as pretty as you like into Osgar. I feel like Trisha did <laughs> practice that in the past. Way through. Kerr finds it up. Selfridge. Ooh, in the end zone. That's Jacob Miller. For Philadelphia, some big assists as well. Sean Moy, a hammer across. They're running out of time too. Here's Whitmer to the end zone, just over the DC Breeze player. And Paul Owens brings it down once again. It may come down to the final point here between the Breeze and the Phoenix. Kowski catching up and putting yeah, some pressure. Yeah, you're right. He, he made up a lot of ground. Wow, great break, gaining about 12 yards on that break. Ill-advised throw. Worked out well, nice shot. Tom, he has an open man. Nope, he looks off Bloodgood. Looks off Fall. Both of them have their open arms. I, I would have thrown both of those. <laughs> hey, you know what? The dick, dick, dink and doink offense here from D.C. Pulled out by their D-line. Alexander Fall finally gets open, and he's the one that scores. That was a big change in momentum. Philly gets that. Flip the script here on the differential that they've had all game. They've been coming from behind. Big backhand rip from Nethercut. Oh, and it's gonna float down perfectly for Spicer, or excuse me, Kate, Kai Marshall. And man, what a put from Nethercut. We talked about their ability to contain him in the first half. We knew it wasn't gonna last for long, and, and I think we've seen it last quarter and to start this fourth quarter, Steve. That, that, was, a, Nethercut. that was a cannon. That thing just got launched into an in-stride player. Nitro with those uh, fresh legs on this offensive line. They're going to give him another shot here. Rafi Hayes swinging it around. Big bomb deep. Leandro Marks. Great body positioning. And runs on the disc. We'll see that again on the replay. He's boxed out in his coverage. Yeah, there's Ian Sweeney. Big lefty back. 10 seconds on the clock, swings this one over to McCann, looking, he's just gonna throw something out there and see who's there, and it is caught in the end zone. Glory able to score, what a throw by McCann, and what a catch. You gotta respect when you see him pump. Kyle Hanky with the disc, back to Radak. There it goes. There's Radak throwing to Noah Chambers. Let's Looks see. like it's going to sit just nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. If I'm not mistaken, those are double wide teammates. Eckwurzel down the field. Laley lets one rip. A big backhand. Matt Smith going up. Secures it there <laughs> for the hustle. Hey, Matt Smith wanted to make us a little nervous there. Bobbling, but able to bring it in. Great hand eye. I'll be able to step through this mark and, and get that backhand off to the break side. Terrence are both these teams and players of this caliber. Yeah, some of them difficult, but Elliot. usually they come down with it. Elliot Chartok, the hook to Antoine Davis, who does come down with it. Stonehouse trailing by a foot. And Davis, he's got some speed and he's got some ups. We've seen the cutters get further and further away. There's just like a big hole between where the disc is and where the cutters are. Runker is going to send Valley. Chase from behind, but Valley victorious. 
Heck of an effort from Finer on the bid, but it's Valley bringing LA within three. Well, at championship weekend last year, Jason Valley was tasked with guarding Quinn Finer, and now we see a little bit of role reversal out in the in the near near future yep gonna need to chip away I like max some this half there max there comes go. under and he's gonna rip a backhand great samu throw. samu in pursuit great throw max hume with the hang time it's a goal for the growlers Woo, that fired me up that's a nice throw from max you don't see him hucking a lot but maybe with lally down you're gonna have to see some guys stepping yeah. up and if he's got that throw i like so they want to get downfield, get within shooting range. Leander Marks keeps it in. Eight seconds on the clock now. Leander Marks is going to come. And a good throw to him. He should be able to get this in. He does. Continue to put this pressure on the throwers of Colorado. Marshall with a nice two-man game in the backfield. Nether cuts laser is on the money. I mean, that's like... Great moving by Salt Lake. That Miller is... let it go. It's just textbook offense right there by the shred. Jordan Kerr comes down with it. Yep, that's been the difference. Is Back to Goldstein, who's been more assertive tonight, Ian. I think you've seen kind of what you've wanted to see from Sam Goldstein tonight. Yeah, I think he's played the role of second fiddle to Nethercut quite well. Done what's asked of him. Difficult throw, and it works. What a beauty. There was not a big window at all, and Nethercut squeezed it through the tight available space for Finer. And not only that, that throw was into the teeth of the wind. We've seen played on the spinners, played hey. in the club scene, the old patrol teams. AUDL champion, spinners, Philadelphia spinners, first ever. As McCutcheon picks that one up. Fakes, they even throw off our cameraman as it goes back to McDonald. Over the defense, McDonald finds Alexander Fall. Five assists on the day for McDonald. This is what we saw last week in Carolina. You can get close. Hume on the mark. Back to AG. Great cut from Nethercut going up line and the big oh, hammer. Doesn't waste any time when he sees his man open and it's a, it's a perfectly placed over the top throw. The cutters downfield like lulled their defenders to sleep. No one was really cutting. And O'Brien, really good defense there on the mark. Now, big hammer put up in the space. Polk racing towards it, but a good job by Tobias Brooks to come up with it with two hands. Will be a little bit helpful to uh, Nitro here. Certainly, at least in the sense of taking that goal back. Now a little bit more space as well. Shred throwing deep. They got a player open, and he's going to pull that down. Might have been even the player that made that big defensive play against Leandro Marks. That sideline double team paying dividends. Payne with seven seconds holding. Landry going for it all in the end zone. Might be playable. Carpenter comes down with it and is able to get his feet in downs for the score. What a move by the Alley Cats to get down the field quickly and get another one on the board right before the horn sounds and end the first period. Dump swing over to Davis Brand. Low throw to Lundy, but he gets it. Another low throw also gets it. Great this dig one, there. That one was by Sunday. Outstretched catch this time by Davis Brand. Hammer over the top looking cable. Why not? Give him six on the night. Orion Cable. He has half the goals he had last season in this game alone. Orion Cable with six goals. He just makes it look so easy. He really does. He is very good at ultimate. Yeah, that, that was your strategy? Yeah. 
for better or worse. Great lot, defense I, by Potts. I have a lot of regrets there about that. What a shot from Houston. A 40 yard upfield break throw. Oh. Good defense from the Growlers in the goal line. Now they're going to be scrambling to make sure they got everyone marked. Finder back to Nethercut, and Nethercut with a weird kind of <laughs> pivot foot throw. Yeah, that was a Kyrie Irving jump off. Finds a very short pass to one of the York Suns. Sean. Oh, big. John Lee is, uh, well, getting out trucked by those wheels. <laughs> yeah, defender made sure to get over the top there, but didn't have his hips in the right way. And the thrower just said, I don't care. Here you go. Yeah, great movement by Weldon. Minnesota staying patient. Disc comes right over to Tristan Van de Mortel. To the end zone looking for Dragney. Dragney able to get there. Unreal. Dregney had only three goals all last season, and now he's got three already tonight. Quinn Finer on the far side now as the Summit offense gets towards midfield. Yeah, it looked like they ran a little string play there with an ISO to get it to midfield. Back to Nutt. Oh, and Nutt's going to shoot a big backhand. No time to waste. Amazing throw. Nice grab. Just such a good throw from Nethercut. And you just can't do much to him. I mean, you got if you put a flat mark, he'll just break you all day. He threw a flick, uh, uh, flick uh, huck earlier. Now it's a backhand huck. He can throw just anything. And, and Evan, you've been watching him play forever, right? And he just is, he's, he's like the ageless one. Up, sideline, over the top, Scuba finds McCann. McCann looking backhand, he gets it. This one right in the twilight. Another Scuba, end zone. That one's caught. Another assist from Brendan McCann. This one, I believe, finding Phil Joyce. In 